What's poppin' party people? It's your girl Unique and I'm back with another video. Today's video is gonna be about what I did to lose seven pounds in two weeks. Um, I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into uh, what I was talking about in the last video. Last week, I know I said I was holding off on this one, but it made more sense for me to post this one this week and then go into the rest of the ones um, for the next couple of weeks. Plus, I want a little bit more time to edit and all that jazz. Anyway, I know you're super excited to know what it is I did for these last couple of weeks to lose seven pounds. So, want to know, stay tuned. First things first, eating habits. Eating habits make up 80% of your weight loss journey. So, if you don't eat right, you're basically not going to lose weight, sis. And a lot of times people can only eat right and actually lose a crap ton of pounds. It is very much heard of of people just doing that. And even Dr. What's his name? Um, from six, my 600 pound life, Dr. Oz or Dr. O, something like that. He, he gives them, he puts them on certain diets and literally they can lose a lot of weight if they stick to that diet. Granted, it is hot, especially if you love food and you're using food kind of like I am, which is like, I'm a stress eater. Yes, I wanted to make that very, very clear that you can eat good and not have to not work out and lose weight. It just takes longer than if you would work out and, I mean, eat right and work out. So anyway, back to the situation at hand. So I'm going to tell you what I st structure my diet, well not diet, lifestyle change, and the rules of my lifestyle change. So my lifestyle change is structured based off a 1200 to 1400 calorie, um, not diet, but lifestyle per day. I don't really calorie count like that, but I can see, like I do read the labels and be like, hmm, if I do this, this, this plus this plus this equals this. I do add it up in my mind. I just don't write it down. There you go. So uh, with that being said, of course, it comes with strict rules underneath that helps me not have not have to be not have to track the calories. So rule number one is I must have 60 to 90 grams of protein. But we'll get into like the specifics of everything as far as that goes when I do what I eat what I eat in a day. So, um, protein helps build muscle. It helps keep you going. It helps sustain you longer. And you want that. So, that's number one. Number two is a low to zero sugar, low to zero grams of sugar type diet. So, um, if you eat more sugar, it stores it as fat. Why would I want more fat on top of fat on top of fat? This don't make no sense, child. Don't want no fat, okay? We want muscle. <laughs> so, no sugar. And I promise you, if you're a borderline diabetic or diabetic, in the sense that you, you're you not hypoglycemic, that will literally transform your whole entire life if you just do zero sugar at it. Or uh, sugar-free. Promise you. High fiber. We're supposed to be consuming 20 grams of fiber fiber makes you go so guess what yes you're right i'd rather poop it out <laughs> than anything else so eat plenty of greens that's the easiest way to get fiber and then you must drink a half a gallon of water a day think about this you're supposed to drink eight glass eight glasses of eight ounce water per day eight times eight is 64 there you go six that's your half a gallon so that's what you're supposed to drink anyway. You're welcome. And if you don't, you'll end up like me because I was drinking it and I wasn't having all these problems. But now I'm like starting to get stress bumps and stuff. Lord have mercy. That's why I backed up off the camera because y'all don't need to know everything, okay? So if when I started doing that, honest to God, I felt so much better. I felt like I had energy. I felt like, okay, girl, some, something going on. Now, I, I use the bathroom a lot more at work. I do. I do have a lot more energy. I am a lot faster at work, too. If anybody else noticed that, let me know. But I'm 
efficient. But um, I promise you, if you hold to those rules, it'll come off of you real quick. So now that we got those rules out the way, let's go to my workout rules. So my favorite part is next, workouts. I love working out. I love, 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 love working out. It's a stress relief. Love, love, love it. So my top rule to working out for myself is I have two mandatory workout four to five times a week, um, four to five days of the week, not four to five, five times a week. Cause some people will trick you on that. Well, I worked out twice this day, twice that day. Does that work? No. <laughs> um, once I get to the desired weight that I want, then I'll slack. Excuse me. I slack off to like maybe three times a week and just in order to maintain it. But that's just to help me not build up stress and detox from the day. Um, Every time I work out, it has to be 30 to 60 minutes. So I don't care if it's going outside to walk for an hour or in here working out, doing a video or dumbbells, but it has to be 30 to 60 minutes. Um, I Let me tell you, in order to get the most benefit out of your workouts, you have to follow the next couple rules. One, stretch before and after workout. Why do we stretch before or after workout? It helps with flexibility, prevents injury, and I, I wrote down some of this stuff, guys. <laughs> and it uh, improves the performance. And it prevents soreness, sorry. So, um, if it prevents all that, I'm down with it. The thing is, I drink a glass of water, so eight ounces of water, every time I work out. Helps um, sweat with the water weight. Uh... And I, once I do a workout with me, I will break down how I exactly work out because there is a way to work out so that you don't get tired and exhausted in the middle of your workout and you don't throw up. Because to me, when people throw up in the middle of workout and people are like, whoo, you're really pushing yourself. You're pushing your body to exhaustion, exhaustion. And you shouldn't do your body like that because your body will start to shut down on you and then you could literally end up in the hospital, which is exactly the opposite of what you want to do, right? <laughs> so with that being said let's move on to products so that is the end of the video I try to keep it as short sweet simple as possible um, you can lose weight guys you can lose a lot of weight if you just discipline yourself and be realistic in the same sense so like don't be like, oh, I know I can't cut it down to 1,200 calories, but I can cut it down to 17. No, that's not going to do anything. Cut it down. Like, I started at 15, but I also cut it down by 100. So I, like, dialed it back to 1,400. And then I noticed that sometimes I did eat 1,200 calories instead of 1,400. So, like, I gave that gap just to be, just to be, like, the safe zone that I don't go under 12 and I don't go over 14. So, um... Just be realistic, okay? Do whatever works for you and be safe regardless of what you do. Always talk to a professional before you do anything as far as like taking any pills or anything. So I take Fitamine because my doctor prescribed me Fitamine and I am not um, going to tell you to go tell your doctor, hey, she said get on Fitamine, so I'm going to go get on Fitamine. No, please. Make sure you know the side effect. Make sure you know what you're doing before you go do it. Um, definitely we'll have a conversation about Fitamine and um, the rest of the medicines that I have ever taken as far as losing weight goes. And talk to you guys about it. And let you decide whether or not you should take it. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Join the family. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys soon you feel me another 10 coming another 10 coming another 10 coming can we say another 10 coming another 10 coming we out